all work and no play today. Well, that's not exactly true. I get to get some spring cleaning tasks done and enjoy a little time outdoors and with my kiddos enjoying this season. It's a beautiful March morning and the birds are making noises outside as the geese come up north for the warmer months. We are starting our day off in our typical fashion, getting dressed, doing my morning time, getting the bed made. Sometimes my husband does it, sometimes I do. And this is the start of a wonderful day. First task on the list today is to do some window cleaning. I, of course, first have to continue sipping on my coffee and open the blinds because it is a beautiful sunny day. I'm going to do a little living room cleanup because on this particular day it is my living area and hallway cleaning day. I do have a video on my weekly cleaning routine if you're interested in that. But however, for today, I'm going to go a little deeper and do some more deep cleaning. The weather is beautiful, so windows are going to be something I can work on inside and outside. So our blinds, I dust often because they do just show dust being white and living on some dustier roads. And in South Dakota, we truly are the windy prairie. It just blows and blows. And so get the blinds cleaned and of course talk to my girls, listen to their stories, watch my kiddos play. But just getting this done because that is probably a twice a month task that I do. And then watch my little guy bounce as I clean this area of my blinds too. And it's just so fun to hear the kids play for me. You're not hearing that right now of course while I clean. And then time to get the glass cleaned. I do clean my windows probably 10 to 12 times a year if possible. Living in a small house that makes it quite uh, quite a lot easier I guess I just have to say. So I'm doing the inside now. I use a Norwex window cloth and then um, I'm able to open them and do the outside as well and then you'll see I go outside later too but I love a clean window to me it's so satisfying to be able to see outside see clearly without some of the smudges and the dust and the film that collects and the bug splatters so to me my big area to clean is windows in my living space we live by a grain elevator, so a lot of trucks do go by. And so the dust in the window still just accumulates over and over. And sorry, you're hearing the little guy, but I'll look at that grime and gunk that just came out of that. And I do use a rag then after I used just a paper towel because it was so gross. It would have stained my rags immensely. So just getting some of that dirt out, not getting it super clean because you know what? In about a month, I'll probably have to do it all over again. Here's where our playtime learning time comes in. It is part of our daily routine to sit down mid-morning, read some good books together, enjoy my coffee, and just relish in the time I get to spend with my girls and sometimes my little boy. Like I said, it is a gorgeous day in South Dakota. Yeah. Gorgeous for us with wind gusts of 30 miles an hour is still nice when yeah. it's 60 degrees out, but you know, the yeah. wind is just part yeah. of where we live on the prairie. Um, we're also doing a little learning, just reviewing shapes, having fun with the chalk, and just getting in that fresh air and soaking in the beautiful rays of sunshine. In between the play outside, I'm doing a little bit of the cleaning of the outside windows and taking a peek at my plants that are popping up and turning green. It's a little early here in the Dakotas for us, so we still have a couple months worth of potential frost. So it's beautiful now, but I'm just praying that we don't have frost to kill those off. And again, just cleaning some more windows, getting the door clean, and taking time to go play, to clean. Just incorporating that routine into my life is truly how I get things done. I don't always accomplish everything on my list, but when I am able to do a few tasks and spend some quality time with my kids, I am pleased. 
All right, to my hallway task of shaking out this rug. I do it probably four times a year, every quarter. And so I needed to get this outside and cleaned out, clean the floor underneath and get that area deep cleaned. I do have to share cleaning rugs and beating them outside is a beautiful way to get out some frustration. We are taking it out in a natural way and being productive. So if you have a little frustration right now today, go beat your rugs out. Anyways, I am not perfect with my cleaning, but I do like to make things nice for my space, for my home. I share that all the time. Do what you can with the space you have. Care for it. Um, keep it clean, just provide for your family and do what God has given us as homemakers to do in caring for our spaces. So I'm even doing the baseboard, then cleaning the floor a little bit underneath because, hey, it's going to last for a couple months and then I'm going to have to do it all over again. And that is part of the beauty of homemaking. All right, a little bit more in the hallway with wiping down my cupboards. This is just a water spray bottle, but there was grime on the cupboards from Little Fingers and myself probably too, because that's our cleaning cupboard there. And getting that off of the wall, off the trim, off the cabinet poles, just, you know, all the things that build up throughout the days of use in a home. So I'm laying my rug back down. I didn't even put fresh tape down on the ground because it still was sticky enough, had a little bit of dirt on it, but that's okay. All right, on to my next task, and this is spring cleaning of my photos. So our photo albums have gotten a little destroyed with little hands looking through them. So I ordered a new photo album because I have a photo album per child. So this one is for our oldest. And so I want to re-put in the pictures here and just write on the backs to make sure when someone else looks at them or when we get older and don't remember, we can look at the picture and recall what that photo was about. I do find it important to have pictures so that we can um, show them to our kids instead of just always on the phone or on the computer looking through pictures. It's fun to have a handheld photograph and photo album. My last task is on a due date, as you can see. I didn't think I was going to conquer this project, but this is kind of like a catch-all storage pantry cupboard. It's next to our fridge and next to our door um, down to our basement stairs. Anyways, it has um, never been like repainted or put contact paper on or really taken care of well in a while. So I decided, all right, I'm going to clear stuff out, reorganize some things, put some stuff in long-term storage downstairs or with some more glass storage downstairs. Time to just take care of this space and give it a deep clean, give it a fresh look. So I'm going through and decluttering some expired marshmallows um, and this wine or whatever it was, champagne. I bought it for our second daughter when I was supposed to take a concoction to help induce labor and I never had to. So um, anyways, I'm just going to give that to a friend who might drink it and then I'm going to re surface the shelves. So they're just like plywood, but I'm going to put some nice contact paper on it and then paint the inside of the cupboard. And it just, it's amazing what paint and a little bit of contact paper that I already had on hand can do to a space. Now to get some paint and the paint I already had on hand, just an off the shelf white from our local hardware store to freshen up the walls, the top of it, the sides, 
and really just make this space um, look good and inviting. It's an unseen space, but still, again, taking care of those spaces that you have is really important, I think, just to keep things updated. Don't let them get old and grody and um, just keep things fresh. So here it is, not completely done. I might show you the rest of it in another video, and I may not, but this is what it is right now. Just use a basket to organize our treats and our gum, um, and then just put some of our other powders, like protein powders, brewer's yeast, um, gelatin, stuff like that in that basket. And I just think it's more simplified, it looks clean, it's fresh, and I am happy to have done some of this spring cleaning with you today. So hope you enjoyed and are inspired to clean a little bit for spring in your home.